What's up YouTube? This is my first YouTube video and in this video we're gonna be talking about how I make Blue Tongue Skink Mix. This one is the one I feed to them um, probably once or so a month depending on how busy I am. In it we're gonna be using some fresh turkey. The veggies are butternut squash, yellow squash, acorn squash, some carrots, some arugula, we have some brown eggs, and then some Merrick backcountry dog food. I already have some open, so we're going to be using that up. Some chicken liver, some gizzards, and then some calcium D3, calcium no D3, and some multivitamins. So yeah, I'm going to blend the veggies up in a food processor, and then we'll go from there. Okay, and we're back. I uh, food processed the arugula, the squash, the carrots, and then I added about half the egg along with some eggshell because it's a good source of calcium for them. And that's what's in here. And then in here is some of the dog food, turkey, chicken liver, chicken gizzards, um, and that's it. And that's a nice gunky mush as you can see and I'm making three different batches for three different skinks depending on their age and how much protein they need um, so I'm about to do that um, for the oldest one he's two years old so he's getting a little more vegetables than the other and then the other one's one year old so She's getting about half and half, and then the newest one is a baby, so he's getting mostly meat for the higher protein level. So I'll do three different mixes, and we'll come back. Okay, we're back. This is the one that's about 40% protein, 50% veggies, and like a 60%. I didn't do any fruit this time, so it's more 40% meat. 60% veggies. This one's about 50-50. And this one is mostly meat. I did barely any vegetables just to give them a little more vitamins and stuff. So I'm going to mix all these together, add different amounts of that depending on the skink. Um, everybody's going to get some calcium and multivitamin and then my oldest one's not going to get any D3, the middle one some D3, and the new one a lot of D3. So we'll do that and be back. Okay, let's see. I've mixed it all up, added the calcium powders and multivitamin. As you can see, it's nice mush that they'll love. And what I'm going to do now is clean up my mess, let this sit for about 32 minutes to an hour to let it get room temperature so that way they don't eat it when it's cold because that kind of that can send their bodies into shock so we'll be back after it warms up a bit uh, while the food is still kind of warming to room temperature I was going to elaborate more on the protein that I used in this mix I did about a half my contain my food processor container of this dog food and then I used all that turkey I showed, the whole little square thing. Um, one chicken liver and then a few small chicken gizzards. So totally they're getting like eight different forms of protein through this because this dog food is beef, beef broth, beef liver, dried egg, and then all those different vitamins. Um, so that's good. They're getting two different kinds of livers, different proteins from the egg, calcium, the calcium that's in the dog food, as well as all the nutrients and vitamins that are in the gizzards and the livers and all that. Um, so that's what you want. You don't want to just offer them a chicken breast or turkey, ground turkey or anything like that because that really doesn't have that many nutrients in it. It's just protein. Whereas the dog food in general is protein with a whole balanced meal in one can. Whereas with the skink chow I'm doing, you really have to balance all of it out with veggies that are good and nothing that cancels each other out. Um, 
So when I do add fruit, I usually do some Pangea gecko diet just because I keep gargoyle geckos too and I always have that on hand. Fruit's really high in phosphorus. You usually have to add a lot more calcium to cancel out the fruit and then you're questioning whether or not it's a balanced meal. Um, but this is more of a treat for them than anything. They'll go crazy over it and I'll show it to you once they, once this gets done. Um, becoming unrefrigerated. Um, all of it was cold when I used it. So we'll see. This is one of my favorite dog foods to use for this because it does, doesn't really have any veggies in it. Um, it's basically just meat in a can and it's super good. Merrick Backcountry. Uh, it was on sale at Petco this past week so I stocked up and got a few cans. Super good. So, we'll be right back. And here's the finished product. Bane is in shed right now, so he's a little darker than he usually is. And as you can see, he loves it. <laughs> He's getting lots of protein, lots of veggies, lots of nutrients. A good little meal for the week. He's got a gizzard. <laughs> And here's Nissa enjoying her scrumptious chow. It's a little more watery because of the there's a little more egg and protein in there. But she is getting some veggies. Get this to focus a little better. Really enthused about it. <laughs> and Bane is done. He's wiping his mouth off. <laughs> as well as licking any remaining food that may be on there. And he decided he wanted more. <laughs> As you can tell, they really like this mix. Thanks for watching. If you finished the whole video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.